most memorable moment of the season was when Annalisa scored in like the last 20 seconds of the uh, playoffs and we were able to advance in the next round. Most memorable moment during the Red Sox game was probably just taking batting practice um, with the guys, getting to talk to them before the game, hang around the cage, talk to all the guys playing that day. That's probably the best part of the day. Sitting in the Cabot team room watching the selection show for the NCAAs and seeing our name being called and all of us jumping up and cheering was really exciting. We finally got to lift up the bean pot for the first time in however many years it's been since, uh, since we won it last. And, that was a really great moment for the team and I think it really brought us together so that was a really great time for us. I think we we're three games left in the season uh, in the CAA. It was a must win game. Um, we were playing Old Dominion, they were like top ten in the country at the time. Senior night and uh, we get on the field and it just starts snowing. The snow is coming down, it's senior night, Halloween, just a great atmosphere and uh, we went out and won 2 nothing. It was, it was pretty cool. When we moved up two spots at championships and we broke 11 school records, um, a lot of the other teams now know who we are and were really recognizing us for how much we improved. Rowing down to the basin and at the set, the weather was perfectly fine rowing down to the basin and then we, we stop and it, the sky just decides to open and dump all the rain that has been kept there for a good solid four weeks. And we all just roared with absolute hilarity. It was quite fun. Definitely our race against Dartmouth when we set a new record on the Charles. And we had a really good race. It was the first time we really accomplished our race plan and it was just a really good day. First outdoor meet we had, we were down in Myrtle Beach at Coastal Carolina University and uh, it was the first time jumping outdoors. I didn't have that great of an indoor season, uh, just weren't, wasn't hitting my jump that well and the uh, first outdoor meet came out and jumped uh, 24 which felt pretty good. When I scored an overtime goal against BU in the last game of the season, uh, you know we were down because we got eliminated in the playoffs and we didn't have much to play for other than pride so it was an you know, important game for us to set ourselves up for next year. And, we were able to come out on top. Our game against James Madison, um, it was at their place and we ended up winning in five sets. And it was just really, every game was really, really close and everyone was contributing. When we beat JMU at home for the first time ever. We had some really big performances across the board. In the 800, we had Courtney Mortimer with us. An all-time PR, 23 years old. We were joking around because she's 23 years old and still has it. St. John's game. I just beat St. John's, a Big East school. Uh, everybody was clicking, team it, was cheering each other on. The bench was loud. Uh, everybody got in, gave their all when they was out there, no matter who scored the most, no matter who, if you scored or not. And uh, it just kind of hit me that I, I felt very grateful that I was rowing at, at uh, such a great school in the middle of the city. You know, all the lights were on, it was dark out. It was just really, uh, really scenic, a really nice, Nice uh, place to be.